Technically, all these models are very close and in fact differ only in the individual design of the exterior and interior. The seat brand is positioned as a manufacturer of models with an active temperament, therefore, in order to please it, the dynamic design of these cars is created. In accordance with this character, the hero of our review was created. For example, if you compare it with the related VW Golf 7, then Leon looks more expressive and aggressive. Even in the basic versions, this is emphasized by the massive air intake of the front bumper, as well as the narrowed front and rear optics, reminiscent of the squint of a predator preparing to attack. The FR versions look even brighter, however, when they see these symbols, active drivers may not drool, unlike their predecessor. They do not mean at all that this is a charged version of the model. In the third generation Leon, they began to define only a sports equipment that is more dynamic design, rims with low profile, rubber, 225-45 or 17, seats with pronounced lateral support and red thread stitching, etc. Entourage. Body Seat Leon. It is important to note that the third generation seat Leon for the first time in the history of this model received a wide range of modifications. In addition to the five-door hatchback, there is also a three-door SC hatch, a five-door ST station wagon and its pseudo off-road version experience. For years after the appearance of the seat Leon has undergone modernization, the external changes were so slight that only an observant person could notice the changes. So, in particular, the radiator grille received larger cells, the front fog lights became noticeably narrower, and the rear optics became completely LED. Seat Leon Engines Compared to its predecessor, the line of power units of the third generation seat Leon has been completely updated. It began to be equipped with modern Volkswagen TSI engines. Compared to their predecessor, they became less voluminous. 1.2 liter and 1.4 liter engines appeared, which had a positive effect on fuel efficiency. And due to the use of a turbine along with direct fuel injection, these engines got quite high, both for their displacement power and provide the model with good dynamics. Often in Ukraine there are also diesel modifications of the seat Leon. They are bought and appreciated for their good traction and high fuel efficiency. For example, the most massive 1.6 liter unit produces a maximum torque of 250 Newton meters already from 1500 RPM and, paired with mechanics, accelerates the hatchback to hundreds in 10.7 S, while consuming 4.6 liters per 100 kilometers in the urban cycle. All seat Leon hatchbacks have front axle drive. But the all-terrain station wagons with the Experience off-road body kit are equipped with the four-motion all-wheel drive transmission with an electronically controlled Haldex clutch, which, when the front wheels slip, will connect the rear ones. Despite the fact that the third-generation seat Leon was born six years ago, it still looks stylish, modern, and dynamic. Moreover, its bodies are endowed with high safety. According to the results of Euro NCAP crash tests in 2012, this model won the maximum five stars. As the employees of the Seat Leon Company Service, who advised us, told us, they are also distinguished by high corrosion resistance. If the car did not get into an accident, there will be no rust even on copies of the first years of production. Seat Leon Body Experts have no serious comments on the condition of the hinged body parts, although they still criticize some of them. This is a panoramic roof of expensive versions and an additional brake light on the visor of the roof of the trunk, see photo, weaknesses. In addition, due to the lack of front mudguards on many cars, the paint on the end of the thresholds and front doors mats over time. Although even with this there is no hint of the manifestation of the red disease. And the owners of versions with the headlight washer complain about the increased consumption of the working fluid. This is an objective fact, but a little trick helps to cope with it. If the level in the tank drops below half, the headlight washer automatically turns off and the liquid is supplied only to the windshield. In order to avoid unnecessary consumption, many people operate the car with a half-filled tank. Also, from the owners of the Seat Leon, you can hear criticism of the budget performance of the hood support. Salon Seat Leon The interior design of all versions of the Seat Leon reflects the active temperament of the model, a comfortable three-spoke multifunction steering wheel, a center console turned towards the driver, aluminum-like decorative details front seats with pronounced lateral support and sporty downward arrows of instrument indicators. Landing at the wheel does not cause remarks, and a wide range of seat and steering wheel adjustments in two planes allow drivers of different builds to comfortably get settled. There are no complaints about visibility either, but the sound insulation is not of very high quality, although this was done to please the groovy temperament of the model, 
in order to encourage the driver to active driving with the audible sound of the engine and exhaust system. Even tall people will be able to sit comfortably in the back seat, and three passengers of average build will fit quite well in width. A comfortable atmosphere in the gallery is facilitated by separate airflow deflectors installed at the end of the box of the central armrest. Only the massive central tunnel of the body is worth criticizing. Despite the peppered temperament, the seat Leon, even in the hatchback body, is endowed with excellent practicality and is quite suitable even for carrying luggage. In terms of size, its cargo compartment is one of the largest among competitors. But for those people who often have to use the luggage compartment during the operation of the car, we advise you to pay attention to a more spacious station wagon. The compartment of this modification in the stowed state is also one of the largest, 585 liters, against 490 liters for Focus, 524 liters for Megane and 500 liters for Astra. Although, with the rear seats folded down, for unknown reasons, its size turns out to be one of the smallest, 1470 liters versus 1516 liters for the Focus wagon, 1550 liters for the Astra and 1600 liters for the Megane. Maybe the maximum volume of the seat Leon station wagon is eaten up by the lowered rear part of the roof. Suspension Seat Leon Like all related models built on the MQB platform, the seat Leon rear suspension can be of two types. Versions with engines up to 150 horses use a simpler torsion beam, while more powerful modifications have a multi-link rear suspension. Ahead in all cars independent McPherson is used. For the sake of the peppered image of the model, chassis of all seat Leons is quite rigid and well suited for active driving, but the versions with the multi-link allow you to also feel confident during quick cornering and sudden lane changes. It is important to note that expensive versions were equipped with adaptive suspension DCC, as an option, which allows you to change the stiffness of the shock absorbers. It works in tandem with another seat drive profile system, which in turn provides the ability to select transmission modes adjust the sharpness of the response to the gas pedal and change the steering characteristics. The systems have four operating modes, sport, normal, comfort, and individual. According to the owners of such cars, even in the normal mode, the suspension works harshly and gives noticeable pops when driving through bumps. But in the sports, it becomes an ultimatum stool, informing about the slightest bumps on the road, but at the same time, the ride resembles a go-kart control car very confidently keeps to a given trajectory, obediently following the slightest turn of the steering wheel. According to the company's service specialists, the adaptive suspension has proven to be quite reliable and serves no less than usual. Reliability Running Seat Leon On our roads, the chassis Seat Leon is able to last long enough. In the front suspension, the rear silent blocks of the front levers wear out the fastest, after 80,000 kilometers while the stabilizer struts can last about 100,000 kilometers, the front silent blocks, up to 140,000 kilometers, and the ball bearings, under 200,000 kilometers. The rear semi-independent suspension is considered eternal. The mechanics could not remember the cases of replacing the elastic bands of the beam, but the multi-link will have to be repaired, although this will not be soon. So, for a run of 100,000 kilometers, the bushing and stabilizer strut changed separately from it, and rear shock absorber bumpers may need to be replaced. By 120 to 150,000 kilometers, gum of the rear breakup levers wear out, the original spare part assembly is about 450 UAH. But the silent blocks of the remaining rear levers are able to withstand a run of 200,000 kilometers. The steering of the seat Leon, equipped with an electric booster that changes the degree of amplification depending on the speed of movement, serves without complaints and the consumables have a decent resource. On our roads, the tie rod ends are able to run 100 to 150,000 kilometers, and the rods themselves still longer. There are no complaints about the braking system either. By the way, after restyling in 2016, all versions received an electric parking brake, which in practice also turned out to be quite reliable, since it had long been run in on other models of the Volkswagen concern. The most successful seat Leon engines. In general, a fairly diverse line of powertrains is intended for the seat Leon. Among the gasoline modifications, the most widespread in Ukraine are cars equipped with 1.8-liter TSI engines, which are equipped with the FR version, which is distinguished by its sporty design, and the expensive excellence versions. The rest of the petrols are much less common. 
The 1.8-liter TSI unit proved to be the most trouble-free gasoline engine, and its only characteristic, SOAR, which, however, is inherent in all TSI engines, is that individual ignition coils may fail after a run of 100,000 kilometers. Another feature of all turbocharged units is oil consumption. The norm is considered to be up to 2 to 4 liters per 10,000 kilometers, although for lovers of active driving it can be noticeably large. Often in Ukraine there are also diesel modifications of Leon TDI. In general, such versions have proven to be quite reliable, although several weaknesses have been identified in them. So, over time, the exhaust gas recirculation system clogs in them, the bypass valve wedges. In some cases, the problem is solved by cleaning the system, and if it doesn't help, then it is jammed and then the ECU is flashed. Another problematic place is the particulate filter may become clogged. Since the new one is expensive, many owners solved the problem radically, they cut it out of the exhaust system, weld in a flame arrestor instead of it and flash the ECU. The least reliable seat Leon engines. The most problematic seat Leon engines are the 1.2 and 1.4 liter TSI units produced before 2014, they can cause serious trouble to their owners. They are mainly associated with the timing chain, which can slip provoking a fatal meeting of valves with pistons and forcing the engine to make an expensive capper. Firstly, it does not differ in particular durability, it stretches to a run of 120 to 150,000 kilometers. Secondly, it can slip even with the slight involuntary pitching of a car standing on a slope in gear. This is due to the design feature of the units, the necessary chain tension is created by the hydraulic tensioner from the oil pressure on the running engine. If it is turned off, then during prolonged parking, the tension of the chain weakens and there is a high risk of slipping. In order to avoid trouble, menders are advised to use the parking brake without fail. But the most unreliable was the 1.4 TSI unit for 140 horses, equipped with a turbine, paired with a mechanical supercharger. Thanks to this design, it is deprived of the so-called turbo lag inherent in engines equipped only with a turbine, and at the same time provides the car with locomotive traction literally from the very bottom. According to servicemen, in this unit, the designers did not correlate the structural strength margin with the high power to weight ratio. As a result, the crankshaft liners wear out prematurely and the pistons burn out. Moreover, such troubles can happen at any run, although, as a rule, this happens to those who like to trample the gas pedal. But his fellow 1.4 TSI, 122 horsepower, equipped only with the turbine, does not have the above source. Seat Leon Transmissions all seat Leon hatchbacks have front axle drive, but the all-terrain station wagons with the Experience off-road body kit are equipped with a four-motion all-wheel drive transmission with an electronically controlled Haldex clutch, which, when the front wheels slip, will connect the rear ones. In practice, the 4X4 transmission has proven to be quite reliable and no characteristic problems have been identified in it. The hero of the review is equipped with mechanical 5 and 6-speed gearboxes and robotic 6 and 7-speed DSG gearboxes. As the operating experience has shown, that the mechanics turned out to be the least problematic, although one weak point was still revealed in it. After a run of 100,000 kilometers, the dual bearing may become unusable, manifested by increased noise of the gearbox. True, this sort is typical for a gearbox with five steps. Of the robots DSG, the most successful is the six-speed unit of the DQ250 series with the so-called wet clutches. All of its weaknesses have long been identified on other models of the Volkswagen Group and have already been successfully eliminated. For example, the same clutch packs can withstand about 150,000 kilometers, and mechatronics, as a rule, no longer cause comments. Please note that during operation, the DQ250 needs periodic oil changes every 45,000 kilometers. The most problematic robot seat Leon. It is worth considering that in Ukraine the most widespread seat Leon with the 7-speed robot DSG. In practice, this gearbox of the DQ200 series with the so-called dry clutch turned out to be the most problematic. So, it revealed problems with mechatronics, manifested by tangible jerks when switching, and a distinct metallic clang when driving over bumps. As employees of the branded service station said, during the production of the DSG, they were periodically upgraded improving the computer software in order to protect the gearbox from unnecessary loads. To date, the reliability of the seven mortars has significantly improved compared to the specimens of the initial years of production, although, according to servicemen, the 
possibility of Mechatronic's failure cannot be completely ruled out. Yes, and the clutch has a limited resource in the region of 100 to 120,000 kilometers. If jerks occur, at best, at a branded service station, you can reflash the ECU. But if this does not help, you will have to change the mechatronics. And if its incorrect operation has already managed to kill the clutch packs, then you will also need to replace them. Please note, unlike the six-speed robot, its counterpart with seven gears does not need periodic oil changes.